Hello, I'm back with a new video and in this one we'll be talking about GPU pass-through on OpenSUSE. This guide was tested with OpenSUSE 15.1 and 15.2. To get started, if you have problems booting into OpenSUSE with two graphics cards, you might have to edit your grub before you start. So you press E and find this line that uh, ends in quiet begins in Linux, EFI, go to the end of it, and no mode set. If you need to do this, go ahead. If you don't, don't do it. I don't need to do it, so I'll skip it. Okay, let's boot into OpenSUSE. Next, let's update OpenSUSE. So let's open our terminal, become a super user, and zipper update. And while we are waiting for this to finish, we'll download the script we'll be using. So, and I'll leave the link in the video description. So we'll go right here, click on code, download zip, save it, go to our home folder, downloads, and extract it right here. Okay, so this is done. Let's reboot just to be safe. And now that we are back, we can run the script. So let's open our terminal. Let's become a super user. And let's go to our downloads and pass through helper. Now let's make it executable. Schmod plus X and GPU pass through. Okay, before we run it, the requirements for this are pretty much you have to, your computer has to support VTD and VTX on Intel or on AMD. Uh, you would have to enable SVM and IOMMU in your BIOS. The names might differ depending on your uh, motherboard's manufacturer. Now let's run the script. Dot slash GPU pass through. It will install the required packages, update grub, and copy the necessary files. While we are waiting for it to finish, let's take a look at it. So if you decide that you don't want it anymore, you can uninstall it by running this dot slash uninstall. And if you change your graphics cards, if you either add or take some away, uh, you can run the update and it will uh, bind the new graphics cards to VFIO-PCI. Also, if you are running SLI, uh, this script in theory should work with that setup. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments. And when I say SLI, what I mean is if you have two identical graphics cards, uh, you can use one of them for your host and the other one for the guest. Okay, now that this is complete, let's reboot. And let's see whether our graphics card was uh, taken over by VFIO PCI. So let's become a super user. LS PCI dash K. And right here, NVIDIA 980. GTX 980, kernel driver in use, VFIO-PCI. For you, you will have to find whatever GPU you are using and whatever GPU you want to pass through and make sure that it's it was taken over by VFIO-PCI. In the next step, we can take a look at Virtual Machine Manager. Okay, so now let's open Virtual Machine Manager, enter our password, before we start, let's go to Edit, QMU KVM, select that, and Connection Details, and Virtual Networks, launch it, cancel this, okay, so active, and auto start on boot, we want that, apply. Okay, we can close it now, and let's create a new virtual machine. 
local media and I already downloaded uh, an ISO you can do it for free from Microsoft so browse find where your ISO is mine is in downloads forward I'll give it 8 gigs of RAM four cores and you can give it whatever you think is necessary 40 gigs will be enough for me customize and first let's change it from BIOS to UEFI I'll pick this one I think this is the one that's optimized for Microsoft MS-code so for Windows apply so you can see it goes back to BIOS but I think it's working if we go to XML and right here so it's the one we selected so in theory it should work the way we want we'll see when we start the virtual machine okay for now we'll delete tablet display spice because we are passing through a GPU so we don't need these these will just inhibit us channel spice video QXL okay now let's add a graphics card PCI host device and NVIDIA GTX 980 and then the second audio part you need that too so PCI host device and right here if you have an RTX card that's made up of like four parts or whatever you can just add all of those you should really do it uh, you might not be able to pass it through if you don't uh, because they all probably share an IOMMU group and if you want to know more about IOMMU groups I'll leave a link in the video description so you can click on that now let's add the USB controller and right here USB host device that's one thing you can do what I'll be doing I'll be doing a PCI host device and add a USB controller and again I'll link a video in the description if you want to know more about that so I know this one works for me let's see which one is it uh, this one it's in its own IOMMU group on my motherboard so finish okay now boot options I want to select SATA CD-ROM as the default for now because I might have to reboot the machine once or twice if I don't catch the right moment where I have to press a key for Windows to start booting so I want it to boot from the CD-ROM by default okay and that's pretty much all we need for now so let's uh, begin installation okay so it's booting and you can see that you might miss it sometimes if you are not quick enough so because I uh, didn't press any key it didn't work so alt control delete and uh, one more thing this is what you see on the screen connected to your pass-through GPU on your uh, Linux screen you see this so you have to have either the same monitor or another monitor connected and you have to switch to inputs if it's the same monitor so let's go back let me reboot now and I'll start pressing a key hopefully that goes through ah I can see it worked okay we'll press next install now okay and here is the moment of truth whether UEFI is actually working and it is so even though it's not doesn't stay selected it's it's working so next and let's let the installation finish okay so now we are back in the boot loop so let's go back to Linux and let's shut this down right click shut down force off get rid of that and uh, let's edit boot options so say that is one and let's start this and you know what before we started let's edit versh so we can uh, fix any issues that we might run into if you have an nvidia gpu not a quadro just a gtx rtx or one of those so let's go to 
Arch Linux wiki. And I'll leave this in the video description. Okay. And what we'll need to do is open our terminal. Gonna super user. And versh. Edit. Name of your virtual machine. In my case, Win10. If you wonder what the name is, it's right here. So Win10 in my case. Enter. And what we'll have to do is replace between the hypervisor tags. We'll have to add this. And again, you can change the whatever value to something else. I'll keep it. Hyper-V. And by default, we are, we are using VI. And then right after Hyper-V, we'll add KVM. Let's copy this. Paste. That should be good enough. Colon WQ. Enter. Okay, it looks like it worked. So let's uh, launch the virtual machine again. There it is. It took a bit to start. Okay, so as we can see, it's searching for the driver. So hopefully, it installs the NVIDIA driver on its own. So I don't have to. There it is. Now let's change the resolution to something more reasonable. 1080. So let's go to device manager. And what do we see? So here's our 980 and uh, our QEMU hard drive. And let's see something else. And we're running in a virtual machine we just created. So, okay. That's that for GPU pass through on OpenSUSE. I hope this video was informative and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.